see his ass. Look, check it out. Officer, we can take it from here. The fire department's on their way with a ladder and a net. Orders are to keep an eye on them. Let's do this. All right. We'll get it. Yeah. Okay, sir. Take it easy now. We just want to talk to you, okay? We're here to help. It's going to be okay. You just stay away from me now, or, or I'll, uh, I'll do something terrible. Hey, guys. Maybe you should back off a bit. It's okay. Come on, guys. I'm freezing my butt off up here. Hey, Wally. Wally, what the hell's this crap, man? What are you doing? You know how difficult it is these days to get a roof over your head and a warm meal? You think they're going for it, huh? That I need hospitalization, I mean. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Wally. There's no question. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, should I faint? Look where you are, Wally. That's a good point, huh? Maybe I should just babble a little bit. Wally. Huh? Why don't you come back from the ledge? Hey? Yeah. Come on. Good man. Good man. Okay. Girl. Come on. All, all right. right. All right. Well, we'll take it from here. Thank just, you. Yeah, Thank okay. you. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Make way. Make way. Thank you. All right. We're all heroes today. It's all the shelters full, Wally? It's time of year. It's like trying to get a room on Bourbon Street during the Mardi Gras. Yeah, you know, you look good. Yeah, and next you'll be saying, I smell good. No. So are you guys going to be able to set me up with a room for a couple of nights? Yeah, yeah, we've never failed you. Come on. Uh-uh. What is that, three rides in three months in your bus? Hey, he just needs a hot meal and a place to sleep. I can admit him, no problem, but if beds become scarce, and please tell him to behave himself. I will, I promise. I keep his hands to himself. All right, thanks, Luke. Go, go, save some broken people. Hey, you remember when Wally hooked up that enema bag to the EKG machine? Yeah, Oz, it wasn't that funny, man. Clear. Yeah, that poor nurse. What do you got? York Hotel. Baby fell out a window. You're kidding. Don't worry. I've got you. Come back to us. Come back to us. Come back. What the hell just happened? You have no idea, man. Very lucky little girl. I turned away for a moment and I didn't know the window was open. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't think you need to thank me on this one. We'll just need to shoot a couple of x-rays to be sure and then you can take her home. Thank you. Well, aside from a few bruises and abrasions, she's fine. Huh. Told you. Incredible. When we got there, that kid was unconscious, maybe worse. And this girl shows up and does this thing and suddenly kid sits up and cries. Oh, come on, Oz. Every paramedic knows that luck's involved and one person trips over her and never gets up again. And then someone falls 10 stories and the only thing that's broken is the cell phone. And besides, kids that size, they can bounce. I'm just saying, it looked like the girl brought the kid back You saw life. a teenager hold her hands over a baby. That's hardly a parting of the Red Sea. No, but... Did you see broken bones and then see her heal them? 
No. Did you ascertain any real internal injuries that she actually repaired? No. So, how do you know she actually healed anything? Yeah. yeah. What exactly did you see? Well, I agree with you completely. Kids are quite resilient. They do bounce. How's Wally doing? His abdomen is tender. I'm gonna run some tests while he's here. He assaulted a nurse over pudding. <laughs> Come on, God. Tapioca? <laughs> he's got a thing with tapioca <laughs> pudding. He can't, I should have told you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I like Wally. I really do. And I want to cut him a break, but you guys got a real men. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you. No more tapioca assault. Give, give my best. <laughs> What exactly did you see? You have that look, that I know more than I'm letting on look. Really? Mm -hmm. You can see that right now. Yes. I've got that look. Have a nice day, Toby. You're really beautiful. You know that. And you're frustrated. I'd like to change Mr. Carson's dose. Serious. No injuries? None. And when the girl had her hands out, I saw the energy coming out of them into the baby's body. You saw the energy, or you saw the girl imagining the energy? Okay, I was I was reading her. By the way, her first name is Iris, last name Frost. You know her. Parents both dead. Uh, Uncle Gavin is her legal guardian. Right, you know all about her. I know the stories, I don't know the facts. So, she's what she, you can read my thoughts. And that tells me the brain is capable of extraordinary things. Why not healing? But every time I ask for an interview, Uncle Gavin turns me down. Ray, if I can read minds, there's got to be other people out there that can too. That follows. So I'm going to go to the hotel and I'm going to find out. We got to talk. Actually, I guess we don't have to. What was all that about? I, um, I told Charlie about your gift. A detective. Why? Well, she was, she was, she called me on it. I mean, what am I supposed to do? You could lie. Babble, anything. Do you have any idea how dangerous it would be if that fell into the wrong hands? If I'm gonna have this thing, I'm gonna use it. And with her knowing, I can. I gotta run. I was there. I saw it. 12 stories. Nobody could have survived that fall. And the girl somehow revived the child? Heard the paramedics pronounce her dead. You actually heard them say that? Hey, hey, that's him. That's one of the paramedics that was there. Oh, no, 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 no. You're confusing me with someone else. We all look the same in uniform. Dr. Frost, can you tell us what happened today with your niece? Witnesses say they saw Iris revive the Carson baby. Well, I think I'll let the events speak for themselves. I understand that Iris has been taking a break from faith healing? She has, for the last six months. Then is it fair to say that she's back now? Well, we're simply in town for the holidays. So, front page news, huh? My, uh, Uncle Gavin lives for that stuff. You know, I'd rather just stay at home and play my video games, you know? When I saw that little girl, how's she doing? She's fine, yeah. So, how did you do it? I get the feeling you wouldn't believe me. I think you should try me out. I might be more open than you think. I focus. I hear what God hears. It's like I channel his divine energy. It's not me. It's him. He activates his power to self-heal. Told you. All right, OK, so what does God hear? Lots of people pleading for help all at once. Play God all day long. You tell me. Lots of people pleading for help all at once. Man, how did he? Irish? Um, Uncle Gavin, this is one of the paramedics. He saw what happened. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. If you'll excuse us. Yeah. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. So if you're hungry, we can get some room service if you like. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Hey, Dr. Frost. Yes? Can I speak to you in private? I think somebody wants to hurt Iris. Who? I don't know. And this is based on what exactly? I can't, I can't tell you how I know, but it's very serious. I would keep her close. That's all I do, young man. Now, if you'll excuse me. You know, 
I've been thinking. We save lives every day, and there's no websites devoted to us. I don't know if people follow me around, lining up to meet me. There's no justice. Where's the justice? Where's the beer? Get the... Thank you. Mm. Be done, do that. My husband was dying of pancreatic cancer. The doctors gave him a month to live. Iris cured him. I thought it was over. I'd never get the transplant in time, but then Iris put her hands on me. I've never been a religious person, but Iris made me see the light. The inoperable tumor, gone after one session. I never thought it could happen to me. You believe this crap? Yeah. I saw something, that's all I know. You saw something? Man. Could you be a little less specific? I saw glowing light coming out of her hands, going into the child. You know what, all I know is, you know what, you never know. You really think that this girl can heal people? There are a lot of things I can't explain. Yeah, me too, my, my success with women, for example, it doesn't mean I think you can unbreak a baby's bones. Well, check this out. Look at that. See that woman there? She's waiting to be treated, I've seen her before. What, like at the hospital? No, remember that vision I was telling you about, the guy was threatening Iris' life? Saw her. Yeah. You know, Toby, whatever you're smoking, next time, if you bring some for me, then we can both kind of have a little fun trip together. No, oh, I got a jet. I, I promised Wally I'd tuck him in. This was fun. Yeah. Yeah, you got a minute? This isn't about the attempted shooting on Dundas Street, is it? No. I can make it real quick. All right, okay, listen, there's this faith healer and someone wants to kill her. Because? Well, I read a mind. You're still on that? No, I proved it to you. Toby, I was drunk. Yeah, you're not drunk now. Let me prove it to you again. Well, can you bend spoons? I always thought that was really cool. Come on, that's fake. And healers aren't? What about Martians? They prefer to be called aliens. Oh, right. I'm sorry, what exactly do you have? All right, okay, listen, there's this healer, her name's Iris. I'm pretty sure someone wants to kill her. Who, male, female? Uh, I'm not sure. So this is like, what, a hunch to you? Come on, you're a cop, you love hunches. Yeah, our own. Look, Toby, I'm sorry, but I've been up all night and I've got a shooter on the loose. Hey, you know what, I'm gonna do some more digging, but I'm gonna come back to you. you do that. So while he uh, gets this poker game going, everybody on his floor, I swear he deals from the bottom of the deck. How much you lose? 300. Ooh. I was about to come back. I had a full house. All of a sudden, Morty in 8C as a cardiac episode. Yeah. I swear he was just bluffing to get out of it. Hey, guys. So we ran an ultrasound on Wally. Significant fluid retention in his abdominal cavity. Bilirubin levels are spiking. There? Yep. I just played poker last night. He was fine. He cleaned me out. Yeah, well, he obviously got dealt a different hand today. The man sure does love a sponge bath. <laughs> hey, what's not to love? It's a sponge bath, am I right? Hey, fellas, what do you say? How you doing, Wally? Oh, come see, come see. They... they think I got a bum liver. Ah, liver schmiver. You look good. You look clean. I look like crap. No, no, no. You're still <laughs> beautiful to us. <laughs> Anything we can get you? Yeah, cigars would be nice. A box of hand-rolled Cubans, a big bottle of 18-year-old single malt. and a trip to see the Northern Lights. Northern Lights? You? Yeah, my son. He saw them once. He said they're really something. You got a son, Wally? I had. Uh, had. We'll, we'll, we'll get you that stuff. We'll hook you right up, Wally, okay? It'll be good. Hey, uh, you guys have been real nice to me. I mean that. You're talking like you're going somewhere, Wally. Huh. Nobody lives forever. forever. You know what, Wally? Hmm? You're a pretty good guy. You've been good to us, man. You hang in there, you stay positive. These doctors are pretty good. Come up with something. Hey, right. we'll see you. Think about the scotch, Wally. All right. Hey 
Yeah, how you doing? Marissa, I'm Toby Logan. Hello, Mr. Logan. All right, let me guess. About every five minutes, someone's coming up to you and asking the room number of Gavin Frost. Yes. But hotel rules, you can't give out the room number. That's right. Not without a little financial incentive. Marissa, you got to be a little more discreet, because earlier I saw someone slip you a 50. That's a lie. That guy in the wheelchair ratted me out, scumbag. Mm. I heard you tell the guy in the wheelchair it's room 204. If I did, that's not where they're staying. It's 1721, dummy. You're good. You're really good. You're like a wall. I risk getting fired, huh? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Marissa. Oh, hey. Yeah, I can imagine you're expecting one of the... Believer. Yeah. We call them believers. What are you doing here? Well, um, I guess you could call me a wannabe believer. You want to come in? Yeah, sure. It's uh, nice. You in town for a while? We're supposed to go home today. Ah, you want to go home, huh? Yeah, it's kind of where my life is. What are you doing here? Um, well, I want to know your secret. Half the people want me to fix everything that's wrong with them, and then the other half want to expose me as a fraud. You are the first person to actually ask what it is that I do. What is it that you do? Like you said, it's a secret. All right, that's fair. Iris. You recognize this woman? Can you think of any reason why she or someone she knows would want to hurt you? Hey. It's OK. Um, he just wanted me to help with his mom. She's too sick to come here on her own. Hey. Iris doesn't do private sessions. And she doesn't let strangers into her room, even if they are paramedics, so. Yeah, no. Sorry to bother you. I told you, no visitors. Yeah, and you told me this was supposed to be the case. Well, it will be, after the session. What session? People are waiting. There's just one session. Let's go. Faith healer assaulted, fire alarm activated near riot in the lobby. Yeah, it's like I told you. You believe me now? No. You need me to explain again? Can't wait. And whatever you do, don't say you're a mind reader. Whatever you do, don't say you're a mind reader. Easy, Easy guess. guess. Okay, so let's pick a number between one and a million. Okay, maybe. Maybe you are a mind reader. What exactly did you maybe hear? You wanna, you wanna, no? The guy was gonna hurt Iris, the faith healer. Who? Who, I don't know who he was. He was heading straight for her, so I pinned him. He had a gun. Funny how no one else mentioned anything about a gun. Yeah. Let me guess. He didn't actually uh, pull out a gun. He just thought about it. So you're getting good at this. Just because someone thinks about something doesn't mean that they're going to act. Actually, Charlie, these are intense, powerful thoughts. The only thing on this guy's mind were, she's gonna die, she's gonna die. And he's bolding right towards her. What am I gonna do? Tell me about the guy who was thinking about the gun. All right, he was a black guy, I don't know, 5'10", uh, earring. Check the video surveillance, I'm sure it's on there. Clearly not a pro. I, I guess not. So, I'm um, good? Yeah. Yeah. If you find anything, you're gonna, you're gonna share it with me? Sure, Logan. Whatever it is you do, stay out of my head. All right. Yeah. This is good, it's like we're, uh, we're working together, it's a team.
We're doing everything we can for him, but he's not responding. He's, um, no, no. he's had a very hard life. Yeah, in his own crazy way. NVA, foreign critical being flown in from Highway 7 in nine minutes. <laughs> hey, hey, well, you remember a couple winters ago? In the middle of the night, we picked you up skating on that frozen sidewalk out in front of City Hall. <laughs> you didn't even have any skates on, man. Didn't have any shoes on. <laughs> Oh, I never should have tried that double axle. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have. Yeah, you're a survivor, Wally. Mm -hmm. I didn't survive when Teddy died. Teddy? My son. Can I ask what happened? Well, five boys in a car is going too fast. <sighs> he was 17. I. I'm, I'm sorry, Wally. Yeah. Yeah. Need some privacy, Wally? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. You'll be good. Hey. So I checked out footage from the hotel lobby, and guess what? They need to practice their fire drills. The guy you saw coming at Iris with what you thought was a gun? Right. You ran his image through the criminal database when he came up empty. You can't read minds over the phone, can you? No. Actually, he did have a gun. See, eventually you believe me. Try running Franny Petrie. Who's that? I'm hoping you can tell me. Hello? Oh, Iris, what are you doing here? How'd you find me? One book. All right. Okay. Right, right. All right, so you by yourself? I don't need a chaperone. Okay. See, I was thinking more of a bodyguard. The guy that came after you, that was pretty scary. Nope. But that woman in the picture, Franny Petrie, I traded her. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I got a postcard from her. Uh, she's in Kyoto, studying Japanese. Cured. All right. So, all right, well then, why do you think that a guy who knows a woman you cured wants to hurt you? You said, I want to know your secret, how you do what you do. I want to know your secret. You know what I mean. Mm, no. I asked you what God heard, and you said lots of voices pleading for help at the same time. I've never told anybody that. It's theology 101, isn't it? I see a room full of sick people, and you see a guy with a gun, only he hasn't pulled out his gun yet. I was close. Very lucky. Oh, crap. Uncle oh, Gavin. Gavin. Busted. Funny. Tricky. <laughs> Very tricky. That's why you came. You wanted to know if there was another mind freak like you. Cool. Actually, you know what? It's not cool. It's actually very scary reading people's minds. Why? Well, you read someone's thoughts, they want to go to work and kill someone. OK, is that a fantasy? Is this a reality? Are they really going to do this? So what do you do? I'm working on that. Can you shut it out? You know, I used to be able to. It's getting hard. When did it first start? Mm. Honestly, my, my past is quite foggy. Come on. I'm serious. I have a hard time remembering things. Well, what's your first memory? Come on, Toby, run. They're coming. Uh, you know, fun kid stuff. Birthday parties, and his tail on a donkey. Stupid things. If I could pick, I would rather be a mind reader than a faith healer. I am really sick and tired of people who are sick and tired. Whoa, are you kidding me? Do you know how many times in a day that I hear sick people and I wish that I could heal them? I wish I could do what you do? Is there anything that I could help you with? Like, I can cure. Warts, jet lag, nail pattern baldness. Actually, there is something that you could probably do. Hey, Wall. Wally. Wally. Cyrus. My friend Wally.
Wally, do you want my help? I can help you. Can you feel it? Feel it? Excuse me. Hello? I hope that helps, Wally. Be well. Later. You really think it's a good idea to throw a false hope into the mix? All right, what harm can it do? You said you Sophie's got a couple days. I'm talking about your faith healer actually making her believe that she can do anything? You think she's gonna be lucky twice? I can't believe you're falling for this. Okay, Liv, have an open mind. I am keeping an open mind. Where were you? I was just out for a walk. Where did you go? You know, if I'm in so much danger, why don't we just go to the police? We both know why. Yeah, yeah, because the police will try to stop me from spreading my gift, but our work is too important to let that happen. Yes, it is. I know you thought we were going to have some time off. But when you saved that baby and everyone came asking for your help, I couldn't let them down. No, you couldn't. Okay, yeah, we found three eyewitnesses. I'll get statements from them tonight. Okay, great, thanks. Okay, so I call Fanny Petrie's doctor. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with a rare form of blood cancer. Very expensive to treat. Nothing seemed to be working, so Mark Petrie, her husband, the guy we saw in the lobby. Right, with the gun. Exactly. Uh, decided to try an alternative form of therapy. Now, thanks to Iris. She's not cured, is she? No. <sighs> Iris thinks she's still in Japan. I don't know what Iris thinks, but Iris and her uncle are frauds. They fleece desperate people, and now Fanny Petrie's dying. So this is why Mark Petrie's after Iris. Well, maybe it's something we can agree on. Yeah, just a sec. Got a minute? It depends what this is about, detective. You ever hear of a Mark Petrie? Should I? He's the husband of Franny Petrie. Iris saw her, treated her, whatever you call it. They're called sessions. Franny Petrie. Seems as though she reported a reduction in pain and improvement in her mental outlook. That came off your website anyway. Oh, Franny, of course. Come in. It's called a placebo effect. Generally lasts between 12 and 24 hours. Just long enough for you to take the money and run. Whatever gifts we receive are voluntary and barely cover our expenses. They sold their house to have every conventional and unconventional treatment, which included you. Exactly. They came to me. Franny Petrie's health still deteriorated. Iris has a gift. It's not a science. We don't offer any guarantees. Well, I guess Mark Petrie wanted what he paid for. He didn't get it, so now he's after Iris. I know, I don't get it either, but from some preliminary test results, I'm cautiously optimistic. Hey, Wally. 
What, are they going to kick me out of here already? <sighs> ah, nobody seems to be in too much of a hurry. You know, I am. Yeah? Where would you go? Well, it's just... There's one thing I missed. I always wanted to see the sky on fire. You know what the Cree call the Northern Lights? The Dance of the Spirits. Where's Iris? Where's your niece? I didn't have enough money for another session, so there was no way he was gonna let me and my wife anywhere near you again. But don't worry, I don't blame you. I know you got a good heart. She's in danger and you did nothing? Our bags are packed. We were on our way home today. Yeah, you mean you were running. Run from what? Iris tries to give people hope. When that hope is lost, there really isn't any reason to stay. Oh, yeah, how about Mark Petrie? Is he one of those guys who lost hope? He's a very desperate man. Yeah. Where'd he take her? How would I know? And Petrie's wife, is she still alive? Please. One more session, one more she can session. make it. I know. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. See, the problem with a guy like Petrie, He's a true believer. And when you refuse the request for a house call, he had no choice but to take it into his own hands. She's too far gone. Hey, hey, you see Iris leave? Haven't seen her all day. You didn't see her leave with an older guy? Not through these doors. What is it? She's here. What? She's here. How do you know? Hey, Marissa, how you doing? Hello? You got a, a Mark Petrie registered here? No, I Nothing. can't help you. What? What are you doing? <laughs> What's this thing? Right. Hi, I need security at front desk. Front desk, please. Got it. Thanks. Let's go. I found her, Franny. Iris. She wanted to come. Isn't that right, Iris? Hi, hi, Mrs. Petrie. Can I help you? Of course you can. Come on. I know. I know. You're tired. Feel the warmth. 
Can you feel it? I'm so tired. Don't let go. You'll be okay, Mark. I love you. And I love you too, my darling. But you have to let me go. Oh my God, do, do something. Do something, do something! Mark. She can't fight anymore. I... You gotta let her go. You gotta be with your wife right now. Iris. I beg you, I beg you, I knew she was gonna die. Harris, Harris could have saved her. Harris could have saved her. I need medical help. I need medical help. Look, you frost up your hands. You gotta play pressure. Let me out Iris, Iris, you're gonna call my dispatch. I'm gonna guide you through this, okay? <laughs> Stay with me. Dr. Frost, breathe. Relax. Relax. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> So that's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's Peachy doing? Guy's out of his mind with grief. Before that, he was out of his mind with worry. How's he doing? He'll live. He'll live. Hope so. Way too many people out there need to get their money back. You know what? Maybe there's some people out there she actually cured. Just need to have a little faith, right? Yeah. Faith is just another beautiful word for staying positive. Your gift. That brought results. I heard him say she's going to die. I thought he was talking about Iris, he's talking about his wife. That's some gift I have. Hey. My uncle's a crook, isn't he? That makes me an accomplice. No, no, you believed in what you did. He didn't. No one blames you. I'm a phony. No, you're not a phony, all right? No matter what your uncle said, you're very special, right? Iris, think about it. When your uncle said you had no powers, his lips weren't moving. You heard him. And when you hear the voices that God hears, you're hearing the people around you. You're reading their minds. Iris, you're telepathic. Listen to me. Your name is Iris. Am I going insane? No, no, you're not. Your powers are growing, that's it. No, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's insane, it's scary. You're gonna feel trapped in your mind. You're gonna feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, but you gotta trust me. You're not alone. Thank you.